Hello, this is Calm and welcome to another Minecraft Let's Play video and another video inside of Calm's epic world. Good morning, Thomas Beaver. Morning, Calm. Good morning, Esther Reindeer. Morning, Calm. And good morning, Polly Reindeer. Morning, Callum. So, yeah, we're joined by the reindeer twins, I meant sisters, and beat Thomas. I knew you said you were twins then. We are twins, though, Callum. Wait, what? You're twins? Yeah. When you've never told me that. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm so confused. Wait, you're actually twins? Yeah. How come you never knew? Because you never told me. <laughs> well, that's something new, isn't it? So, yeah, you're twins then? Yeah. Uh, okay then. So yeah, we'll be talking about the Reindeer Twins and Thomas Beaver in this video. Uh, yeah, we're about to build a brand, brand new minigame today. Um, uh, yeah, I'm still, I'm still a bit, you know, my mind's a bit blank now. <laughs> you never told me that. So Stalin's never told you? No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, meet you guys over the phone in just one second. Uh, before I can do any of that, I need to go on my breakfast. Uh, what kind of a... Oh, yeah, that's a bit of a weird start to the episode, wouldn't it? Esther and Polly have been in my world for like quite a long time now, and then I only just realised they were twins. Not my fault though, Stalin never told me. God damn it, Stalin! <laughs> I go have my breakfast, nom 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 delicious. Good morning Luke, good morning Goyo, good morning Motiza. Uh, let's head over to the doghouse. Uh, good morning Ruben, and good morning Parrot also. So yeah, I'll be using a teleport today, but like I have been, recently I've been using my special tunnel. Basically, I made a ton of to get from my secret base to the dog houses in case like a apocalypse broke out. I think that's the reason why I built it. Uh, yeah, that has to be. There was like no other reason for it then. But yeah, it just helps me get over to the front line quicker. Uh, let's go from there. Um, Barnaby and Sandy, you could join me today. But yeah, that was, they were quite close to each other as well. All right, let's head down my special tunnel and then we can head over to the front line in no time at all. Uh, so basically, this new mini game is basically it's a maze mini game, but it's made out of ice, so it's going to be a bit more scarier. Because obviously you can see through, uh, you can see through the ice, so it's going to be a bit more terrifying. So yeah, it's going to be pretty much the exact same as it has been before, really. So yeah, this is not me being unoriginal, but I just love building maze mini games so much. They're just so easy to make, and they're just fun in general. Yeah, no, they're just fun to build and fun to play. So yeah, you guys could. Teleport off to the front one as well. So here's my teleport because you've not seen it before. I just wait for the doors to shut as well. Uh, jump roll. Brrr. Come on. There you go. Let's pick the lever upside up and down. We have to make sure the lever is up. Hit button number one. And then we head off to the fun land. Okay, it looks like we've arrived to the fun one now. And chicken, what the actual hell? <laughs> Where's that chicken gone? Hey, what are you playing at, man? <laughs> Bloody hell, it's man like chicken. Alright, uh, Barnaby and uh, Sandy's managed to make over here, very nice. So yeah, the mini game, like I said, is a maze mini game. Yeah, it's not just me being unoriginal, but even though the last mini game I made was originally a freaking maze mini game, but that game was meant to be a lot different to what it turned out. It just, I had to change the last minute. So yeah, I just love building maze mini games, really, so. I just love building maze mini games, to be honest. So if I'm going to. If I have nothing else to build, I'll just do a maze mini game because number one, they're easy, and number two, they're funny, and it makes for a funner video. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I just hope, hope you don't hope you don't mind me doing like maze mini games with more than once. Don't worry, this is, this won't always happen. It's just when if I can't think of an idea, I just go to a maze mini game because maze mini games are one of my favorite things to build in Minecraft. So yeah, we're building in here. So we're building right in front of Ender Floor, I think this game's called. Um, Alright, uh, it looks like you might guys. Hi, guys. Hi, Callum. What's up, bro? Somebody. Looks like you managed to make it over here. Funny enough, because I actually, I actually didn't tell them where we were going, because I kind of forgot. <laughs> yeah, if you can see that, it's going to be an ice game, just, just in case you can tell from the pat, back of ice, batch of ice. But yeah, we can't speak today. Alright, uh, wait, we'll just, come on. Come on, Barney. Not you up. There you go. So yeah, here we go. Let's get started, shall we? So, um... Right, so it's going to be uh, kind of just basically like this way. So we're going to have uh, one block away from here, and then we're going to just go straight along over here. So it's going to be, uh, well, it'll just be a traditional ma a ma um, maze mini game, really. It's just going to be with ice, though. So what the actual hell? I'll just get rid of all these leaves, because they're annoying. I know they're going to come back in a minute, because it's going to be annoying. Because this is what Minecraft Bedrock is like with lag. Oh my god, what's even happened? Why is all blocks disappearing? <laughs> there you go. 
So there, that's pretty much like the oval design of it so far. So now we're going to start on the actual maze part now. So we're going to focus on this bit for a little bit. Uh, oh god. So yeah, I've got a silk touch shovel so I can actually get rid of this without destroying the ice and making a mess. Um, I'm trying to make it like diff like the maze a bit different to the other type. Okay, let's go from this side and try to make it a bit more simpler. Uh, and then go like around here and then go like this. I think I don't. I actually can't remember what I did for the design. I built this game. No, that's that's definitely not right. <laughs> that is definitely not right. Um, okay, let's go from here actually now, just to just to make it simple, I guess. Right, let's just do like the traditional column maze minigame trait that we do, aka building like custom long corridors, and then uh, breaking these, and then um, having a bit of like a dead end kind of thing. Yeah, I think that would work. And then, because you're not meant to just hide, you're meant to just run as well, so yeah, there's going to be like, let me just try and connect this up with this side, and then uh, have this connect with this as well. Well, kind of connect. Of course, this guy, this can connect. Hold on, let me just get rid of... Oh. I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. I knew exactly that was going to happen as soon as I destroyed that block. <laughs> it's at that moment. This is the uh, this is the moment he knew. He f***ed up, innit? It was kind of like that kind of thing. Alright, so it's going to be like that. So he's going to be running around this maze. So I will focus on building it up in a minute. Um, I'm going to have uh, this going to rank along here. I'm gonna need some more ice on the chest. This game looks kind of a mess right now, and that's because well it is, but it's just this is normal I guess for these mini games to look a bit messy and a bit odd. So yeah, this is gonna go like up to here. So it's gonna be like a big swirly worry if you want to call it that. Uh, like where should I have the hole? Um, let's have it like here because we do yeah have you there, and then um. Yeah, I think it actually looks not too... That doesn't look too bad so far. No, it actually, it actually looks alright. Okay, let's build this up, building this up. So we're going to be building this um, four, five, no, five blocks high, I think. We'll just see what it looks like, because we don't want it too high, because there's no reason for it to be this high anyway. So, but in terms of, like, anything else, it doesn't really need to be that high anyway. Why have I, why did I only get, like, one block, like, one stack of the, the, the ice? I'm going to need, like, a hell of a lot. Uh, maybe just if I just get like this whole row because I might need it. Uh, yeah, just just build this up from here. So this is pretty much how the mini game is, really. So the floor is gonna be um, ice because that's the only, the only material that's in the chest because I haven't really got any other materials on me. And yeah, that's pretty much it. No, the funny thing is, I I I know I'm going back to the start of the episode again, but how come you you two never told me that you were twins? We did what we thought you knew. No, why would I know that? <laughs> oh, sorry about that. It's alright, but yeah, it's alright. It's a new discovery about you two because obviously you've been in my big one for like quite a long time now, and uh, I'm surprised you've you've only just told me. But never mind, doesn't really matter. People have their secrets and that, but it was just a bit of a shock to start off an episode with. But hey, oh, uh, right. So we keep on building this up, and then um, and then I shall go and do the inside, which is going to be ice because. Funky materials. <laughs> um, yeah, I will have to. I'm gonna have to build this up as well. I forgot about. I forgot about these walls. Like I said, I am sorry about um the the me building another maze mini game when I originally just built one. But like I said, the snowball tag game was gonna be a lot different to. Wow, <laughs> it was gonna be a lot different to how it was how it came out. And yeah, sorry about that, everyone. Sorry. It's not just me being unoriginal. I don't want to be. I want to. Don't want to. I was gonna try and do something else, but it, it looked too similar to another Minecraft Let's Play world. I know it, I've done that before, and I've always said so, but I'm trying not to do that. I'm trying to be as original as possible. So yeah. So don't mind that. Hope you don't mind that. Fingers crossed. Hopefully not. Don't, don't worry. This won't be. This won't be a thing that will happen every so often. This will just. Yeah, this won't be the last min maze mini game I'll do. I'll, I'll do plenty more, but not for. I'll try and like space them out as much as I can, so I can make room for other mini games as well. So yeah, so don't worry, don't worry about that. <laughs> don't worry. I'm, I am sorry about that though, but yeah, I just want to get that off my chest while while I'm while I'm building this. And I have nothing else to talk about. Alright, so we're gonna build this uh, a bit more. Uh, we'll just say how well this looks so far. 
It look, it's a bit more. That's the reason why it's more scary as well, because obviously, unlike every other maze mini game, you can actually see them coming. Because obviously, you can see through the ice, like I said. So yeah, that's gonna be. That'll be a bit fun. That'll be interesting, wouldn't it? <laughs> Yes, yeah, so you can literally see them coming no matter what, so you know exactly when to run from them. Which is going to be very funny. Alright, so let's look at this so far. Let's see the progress. Yeah, that actually looks alright. Actually, now I think about it. Uh, let's build a bit more up. Let's build, uh, yeah, two more ups to do the trick. And then, um, yeah, we can start working on the inside. Hold on, I'll, I'll do these bits first, actually, because I know I'm going to dread these the most. So just build all of you up, like, another two blocks higher. And then I can start doing the, um, what's it called? A, the inside, aka the floor, which is going to be very annoying. Because <laughs> I hate doing floors in mazes. Yeah, so we just build it up a bit. I just put two more blocks higher. And then we can do the inside. And then that's pretty much it. Like, the only, I like, not much else to, to this game. So the Neverite Sword, is I think my, my inventory, is going to be what the Seeker is going to be using. Because... Yeah, we... I just wanted to change up a bit, because, like... I think the last one I did was the... Well, not the snow... Apart from the snowball tag, where it had a diamond sword, I think it was. I can't actually remember the last mini maze mini game I did before snowball tag. I can't actually remember. I have a bad memory, anyway. I always have, like, one of the worst memories ever. So, yeah, that's just how it is, I guess. Okay, so we're nearly... There you go, we're nearly there. Hopefully I don't run out of... Uh, I only have two stacks left. Hopefully this should be enough to finish both sides. It looks a bit weird, doesn't it, because of the ice. Because the ice looks a bit weird, but it doesn't really matter. So let's build... Okay, let's build you up. And then... Oh, what the actual hell? I didn't actually know that you could just miss blocks like that. That's a bit weird. If, okay, apart from that, that looks fine. Uh, should there be a roof on this? I don't know if it would really make sense for there to be a roof on this game. Hey, well, let's screw it. I'll come up with a decision anyway in a minute. Worst case scenario. Um... Uh, yeah, just build you one block higher, or two blocks higher even. Is it getting dark? Oh, but yeah, I've been building this for a day already, that's a bit annoying, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, so build you up to there. Uh, yeah, I should hopefully, I should have enough to finish this off. Fingers crossed. Well, I don't really see how I, couldn't, I can't finish this off with the stack, because I'm only going... Okay, maybe I might need... Maybe not. <laughs> I was just saying, oh, I don't need to get another stack from the chest. I probably do now, because I've... We should just start the things from over there. <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely going to need more than um, more one than this much. I'm going to need a bit more, but the chest is only right there anyway, so it's not like a big, big problem. Okay, so there you go. So that's pretty much how the game works. So it's basically you're in the maze, and then after a while... Uh, well, I don't know like how to... like. But basically, it's the last person surviving at the end wins. So it's like every maze minigame I've done up until this point. So it's just like it's like a sequel, it's like a trilogy or quadrilogy or how many other maze mini games I've done. Um, it's part of like a franchise of maze mini games in my fun one. But how does that look so far? I think that looks it doesn't look too bad. I can't lie. Yeah, it looks a bit weird because obviously the reflection on the grass. I think if I go up someplace high, let me go on top of um, end of row and have a better look there. Yeah, it actually doesn't look too bad. Like it doesn't look the best thing I've ever built, but yeah, it looks fine. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, because uh, this is going to take a bit, I'm going to do the floor, I'll do the floor outside of video, like, I'll quite add in video to when I've actually done the floor, because this isn't in a big area, it's just going to be a bit annoying. So I'll just, I'll do the floor, I'll just dig out the floor now, and then I'll come back after the video, well, I'll come back, well, I'll cut ahead in the video to when I've built all this up, well, built all this with um, ice. And then, yeah, I can show you what the finished thing looks like, and I can show you if any, if I've done any changes to it. Because I probably would have done some changes to it, but, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. So we'll just, build, we'll just break away all this, and then I'll start on the floor to give you a bit of an idea. And then, yeah, I'll we'll cut back in just a second for that. But, yeah, we'll just dig all this away. What the hell? The actual hell was that? <laughs> Why did this fall into a hole? Yeah, that's a bit weird. Yeah. Okay, let's give you a bit of okay, we'll start putting, putting the ice down so I can give you a bit of an idea. And then, yeah, I can cut back in just a second for like, what the game will look like, I guess. So, And then I can show you any changes I have made, because I feel like I would have made some changes. I feel like I would have made some sort of a change. But yeah, but okay, let's just place these down, and then, yeah, we can go from there. It looks a bit, it looks a bit weird, doesn't it? <laughs> look at this, it looks a bit weird. Don't know, it just looks a bit disorienting in here. 
Oh, I've missed a bit over here. So I'll just break you away. Yeah, I'll just break you and then place you, you down as well. Alright, so that's pretty much how it's going to look like across the whole side. So, like I said, I'll come back in just a second. What are you guys looking at? I thought so bad. <laughs> Pretty hell. Yeah, I'll come back in just a second to when I've uh, managed to finish the floor off. And then we can have a proper test game. And see if this game is actually any fun or not. I thought I saw a phantom then. I don't know why. But yeah, I'll come back in just a second. Come back to the video. I finally managed to finish off the maze. So the only change I've really made to it is the floor. This was originally ice a minute ago. But now it's packed ice. Because it looked a bit nicer. And you can see through the floor. Which was dirt. And it looked a bit ugly, so I managed. I changed it to packed ice, and I managed to saw these weird dirt things that were underneath the walls as well. It looked a bit weird, so I changed all that. I was actually putting around with some packed ice a second ago while just while I was doing the floor, trying to make sure this game actually looked a bit nicer because the game looks all right. It just looked a bit weird because obviously you could see through it. It looked a bit weird. So yeah, the thing I'm gonna do is uh no, why have I done that? I don't. That's what I did not mean to do that then. I was. I was Changing uh, like this bit here, like these corner bits here, to make it look a bit neater, a aka um, making it packed ice. Okay, oh bloody hell, why does ice come from? Okay, put you there, and then have you build you go up like that, and then I'm gonna need I can actually use you to get back up because I actually need to get back up, and then build you across over here, and then basically do the exact same thing. So basically get rid of the corners of each side of the maze, and then putting with packed ice. And then connecting it all together. I think that looked all nice. Looked all right. But we're just... We'll just see how it looks first. We'll just see how it looks. Because I don't want to do it and then it looks a bit ugly. Uh, how does this look so far? And... Uh, yeah, I actually think that looks all right, to be honest. It looked... Yeah, it looked a bit nicer now. Okay, so we head... Uh, no, we could just connect them during, with this. So we could just do the exact same going across. So it's literally going to be the exact same on each side. Just so it's like not completely ice in general. Uh, yeah, we'll just get rid of you. And then we'll just get rid of, we'll just get rid of the corners on each side. And then, yeah, that'll pretty much be it. So that's like the only... I was going to do this off camera, but just in case people... If you wanted to recreate this game yourself. Um, and you were following this video as a guide. I doubt anyone will actually follow this as a guide or not. But, you know, just in case. And I'm, based, I'm building this like an absolute idiot. <laughs> Why am I? Why is this being so annoying to build? I have no idea. This game was more annoying to build than I thought it would be. It's literally a maze mini game. I, I would have thought I got better mazes by now, but not really. Uh hup, uh hup, uh hup, uh hup. God. And then uh, there you go. This should be easy going across from here. So there you go. That's pretty much the game finally finished. Uh, I haven't got a name for it yet, but I'll come up with one between now and the next episode. There you go, I actually had the perfect amount of um, ice I needed. There you go, that was helpful. See, this is how the finished game, so it looks nice. Oh, no, I've, wait, I missed a bit. I missed a bit. I missed this side. <laughs> Alright, we got the packed ice, and then just connect it from, from here. Uh, actually, I'm building up. There's no way I'll be able to do this otherwise. Uh, yeah, just build up like this, and then boom. I can actually uh, do uh, these sides, right, the top bits as well, with ice. Yeah, I think that'll look a bit nicer, actually. Yeah, we'll just do this as well. Just so, like, it looks so it looks a bit neater. I'm trying to, basically, I'm just basically doing it to make the game look a bit neater now. Yeah, I will need some more packed ice. So, can I reach the chest from here? Uh, why am I keep building? <laughs> okay, I've got, I managed to get quite a few packed ice as well, so. Yeah, I managed to sort that out. Alright, so I'm going to get this done as quick as I can. Because I want a quick test to go up before the end of the episode. I'm sorry that this game was a bit annoying to build, and this game might be a bit under dramatic. But hey ho, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day, really. My mini game's my problem. And yeah, that's what that's what I say, even though I've said it once. <gasps> this whole series I've said that once, but yeah. My mini game's my responsibility, and then it's also my problem as well when I fall into the maze. Ah, oh, bag in hell. How am I meant to get back up? And it's getting dark as well. Why is nothing going right today? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I was okay. We'll use this to get back up, and then we can do. Well, we can finish off the rest of the maze, and then we can have a quick test to go. And then that pretty much would be it. Oh yeah, I need to add the. Uh, don't. Oh, that was it anyway. Never mind then. <laughs> Never mind. I was. I'll just try to get back up for nothing. So yeah, the people that are going into the maze will go from this side, and then uh, uh, have a uh, one block of ice here, and then a piece of wood there that marks the path. 
And that's it. That's it, really. That's pretty much the whole game finished. Finally. <laughs> I will add a door or something in. But, yeah, for now, this would just have to be an open door game. So, we'll just get rid of all this. And then, yeah, we can start. We can have a quick test to go. And then we can see if this game's any fun. Which is the main part that we need to do today. Well, apart from actually building the game itself. But we need to make sure the game's fun first. So, you get the Neverite Sword. I won't be able to fit all of these in the chest. But, yeah, that's, just, that's it. Uh, who wants to be uh, in the maze first? Who wants to be with the sword? Uh, me. All right, so, Thomas, here's your sword. Cheers, brother. Hey, yoink. Yeah, you go to the back of the maze. Um, what, we're going to do what we did uh, for pretty much most minigame tournaments. Hey, Callum, uh, you'll have to be a vice here. Oh, bloody hell. Thanks, Thomas. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to do what we do for most maze tournaments. Okay, I teleport everyone into the maze. Well, that's not playing. Uh, can I just have that piece of ice, Thomas? And... Uh... There you go. Fingers crossed. I'm just trying to drop it. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, bro. You're welcome, Tom. All right, so you head to the back of the maze, Thomas. I'm already here, bro. And then let's get started. So, uh, Essen and Polly was heading to the maze. Hopefully, this is going to be fun. Fingers crossed. Um, maybe we could dig a bit here. Yeah, and then uh, just put you in my inventory. And then um, anyone could just go anywhere, really. It doesn't really matter about a specific area everyone has to go in. Everyone could just go anywhere and roam wherever they want oh the you know oh i forgot one thing guys we have to tell we have to sweep we need to sweep first oh bagger we need to sweep first so we can get our freaking spawn point or else we won't really have a spawn god damn it why do, this is the reason why we test these things and it's better than uh running up at some random game i feel like we'll end up at uh, probably either like I'll probably end up a dark maze from like the last episode when uh, we did Fizzy's tournament. Yeah, everyone just set your spawn quick and then we'll go again. We'll go again. This is why we have these tests to make sure we're actually suited and booted. All right, so Thomas, you go here and then Esther and Polly will head into the maze. Okay, come in. Okay, I just help you. I can just help you to where you just were before I just remembered. We only, I think we only have time for one test to go today. But it doesn't really matter. We'll, we're going to have a whole tournament of this in the next episode anyway. So it doesn't really matter too much about who goes where and who goes what. It's a bit annoying because obviously you could, Thomas can literally see us. But it doesn't really matter. All right, so Thomas, head into the maze. All right, coming. He's coming after me, isn't he? What a lad. Why is he coming after me for? <laughs> oh, I've actually had a dead end. That's not very good, is it? All right, oh, it's been, I've never been more scared of a beat. Oh, hell no. I'm trying to, let me try to go get past him. Did I manage to get... What the fuck? Okay, I managed to just about sneak past him. Okay, with a lag. Okay, there's, there's Esther and Polly. Um, I don't know who, who's he going to get first. I have no idea. He's he's near Polly. So, he might get her first. Oh, uh, looks like he is as well. Oh, oh Polly's out. That sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> Um, and now he's going. He might. I don't know if he's going to go after me or go after Esther. Uh, hopefully he's not Esther. Hopefully he's not me. I think it actually might be. To be honest, I'm a bit weak after the first time. Thomas, move, move. Thomas, move too. Thomas, move. Thomas, move. Thomas, move. No. <laughs> oh no. What I could actually do is before between now and the next episode and have like a little ladder so I can have a look at the game. But I could kind of get a good advantage anyway from here. But. Right, so there's only Esther left in the game, so yeah, you won't be getting a point if you're uh, if you're the seeker, just, just like the last time. But yeah, that's kind of self-explanatory. Oh, he's found it. He's found it. <laughs> oh, well done, Thomas. GG, and um, GG to Esther as well. Oh, how do I get out of the maze? There we go. <laughs> there you go. So here's the actual. Uh, this is the maze finished. Well, this is how the game is pretty much played. So yeah. Yeah, it looks a bit weird compared to most things in the area, but it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. It is what it is. Yeah, but it is fun anyway, so yeah, that's all that matters. I don't care, like I said many times in the past, I don't care how my mini games look, I care about how they play. That's like the main motto I go for nowadays. But yeah, that's going to be the end of today's episode here. I want to say thank you to Thomas, Polly, and Esther for joining me today. Yeah, I can count. You're welcome, buddy. You're welcome, bro. Um, well, we'll just set everyone up and then we can head in there properly. Yeah, in the next episode, we'll be play, we'll be coming back and playing this game for proper. Seeing who's going to be the ice champion, I guess. I don't know what the game's going to be yet. You just have to tune back to see who's going to be the ice champion. But for now, thank you very much for watching. And then we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.